nose pressure. <laughs> Audio check. A little loud. Audio check, audio check. All right, looks like we're about to get underway. First band's coming out. I'm going to turn this over to Curtis. I'll be right back. All right, welcome everybody to another episode coming to you live from the hive of Clinton High School Esports. You got a Yorick band and a Darius band coming out. Right off the bat, Samira and Jen both bands, so going after the ADC it looks like. Uh, we're playing Fountain Lake today, so glad to see them in Esports. We've played them before. They do have a good competitive team, so I think we're going to have a real good matchup here today. Cho'Gath gets banned. So the Yellow Jackets not wanting to see Cho'Gath or Yorick. I think that's a very wise decision. Their top player is, is definitely very good. So, And they're going to ban a Silas. So Fountain Lake not wanting to see the Silas, doesn't want to see the Samira, doesn't want to see the Jin. I think that's uh, – I think it's good bans on their part. Our ADC is definitely strong, so banning him out is, is definitely going to be in their favor. And we got Chuck back in here. Sorry. Hey, let's go. Yes. Let's go, Ghost. I think Ghost is going to show up today. He's going to play hard. Yep. Said, got a Mordekaiser in the top lane with Chicken Lord. He's very familiar with Mordekaiser, plays Mordekaiser very well, so. Good yep. job there. Uh, gonna be a Viego. Looks like maybe a Syndra here, Chuck, for this Fountain Lake team, so. I'm thinking the Viego is probably gonna be the, the jungler, but we'll see what happens. Uh, Misfortune down at bottom lane, so. We all know Misfortune definitely can turn gross. the tide of a battle. Gross. Yeah, gross. That ultimate is very, very nasty in the middle of a crowd, so. Yellow Jacket's going to lock in an Udyr and a Nocturne. So we're going to have I two like that prospective uh, jungle characters here. So I do like that. Looks like the Yellow Jackets might be trying to do a little bit of a pressure strategy there with that. Could have a Teemo coming over here in this top lane, it looks like. Hmm? We got Pap Smoke. Pap Smoke. Welcome to the stream. Yep, it looks like they're going to go with the Lux here. So they changed their mind a little bit. So we got a control mage here with the Lux. Uh, Lux does a lot of damage too, so she's very well-rounded. Doesn't have a lot of mobility, but makes up for it with all that crowd control, Chuck. Yeah, Lux, Misfortune, crowd control, crowd area of effect. Yeah, that's yep. yeah. you're right, Chuck. Throw those rings out there. If they get rooted, Misfortune's going to blow them away. Yep. We do get it. We get a Teemo ban here. I, I don't blame him. I would. I, Teemo is really annoying, especially with uh, invisibility and just being ranged and top. So they're going to ban out the Sonya here, and Amumu is going bye bye for this match, Chuck. So we're not going to see the Amumu. Go have fun. So this draft is looking pretty interesting to me, Chuck. Yeah, they they didn't want to see none of that. Um that. Yeah. Amumu. Amumu. 
I knew I heard you I say it. I don't blame. Still. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I, I don't blame him one bit. That that Amumu yeah. played by our support player is very, very good. What do you think he's gonna pick? You think he's gonna pick Brand? I don't know what he'll go with, Chuck. He may be working on something different. I'm not sure. We got Jinx coming in. Is that gonna be uh, a swap? Olaf? Or? I have no idea what what they got going on here, Chuck. It looks like they got maybe something meta. Is there Songbird? Uh, Ghost Dragon said he was gonna have some people watching the stream, so. If yeah. you're with us, welcome to the stream. Love having everybody along. Uh, we're ready to cheer on the Yellow Jackets and, and see what they can do, Chuck. Yellow Jackets really need to win uh, to get into the playoff talk, into the hunt. Yeah. I think if they win these next two games, they got a shot at getting in. Um, but it's only going to be top 16 teams this, this go around, Chuck. So they're going to they're definitely going to have to win these two if they want to get in and I, th I think some other pieces might have to fall into place for them to kind of help them out a little bit. There's ghost. And we have a Zeroth pick. So we're going to have control control uh, AOE. Yeah, so this is going to be uh, interesting here, I think. Yellow Jackets going with a more traditional draft, going with the Nautilus tank. I like that from the support guy. Uh, the Jinx pick, like that. And Nocturne mid is, is going to be kind of a meta pick here, Chuck. So it's not going to be something you're going to see all the time, but we're going to see Udyr in the jungle. Do like that pick. And always like seeing Mordekaiser up top with Nightfall stomping around the rift. Uh, I said swinging that mace everywhere, so... Always fun. We're going to go into our spectator delay here. And I said we're three minutes behind the actual game, so uh, make sure that no one can have a sneak peek at the action or anything going on. So yep. We got Yellow Jackets here on the right and Mountain Lake. Fountain Lake. Fountain Lake. Yes. <laughs> Fountain Lake Take on the right. Yes. The Cobras. Yes. You can't miss You can't miss the Cobra there. Uh, yeah, and Chuck and I were talking earlier. We, we really like their uh, logo for their mascot. I, yeah. It looks a little sharp, Chuck. I, I like yeah, it. I, I did a good I'm job. Gonna, I'm going to have trouble with Fountain Lake, but I can remember Cobra. Oh, yeah. Cobra Kai here. We're playing yeah. Cobra Kai. <laughs> Let's go. Tortured Sparrow. Songbird and Tortured Sparrow. Y'all friends? <laughs> hey, it could be. we got four viewers. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I said we, we do this stream during season, four days a week. Uh, Chuck over here driving the stream, making everything look good. Looks like we've got... Hey, let's uh, go, yeah. Waffles for you. Okay, hi. Yeah. Welcome to the stream. I said we're excited to call this game, call this action for Arkansas Esports. Love watching our Yellow Jackets play. So said Clinton's going to try to bring the heat here today, Chuck. I, I, I just got a feeling coming off spring break everybody kind of got to recharge their batteries a little bit uh, i know we did um so i'm excited to get started back on the season we got two more weeks of regular season before the playoffs kick off we're gonna have some teams in playoff contention for sure and just excited yeah just excited to be back here in the lab and streaming again absolutely one more minute here we're gonna get to see some Real heavy hit in action. I, I've already I'm, seen some changes up in the lineup here. I'm, I'm a little a little surprised. Uh, Ghost Dragon's been doing some scheming, apparently. Uh, he, they, they always are, Chuck. They're always trying to look for that meta pick. They're always trying to look for that weekly patch that update. Edge. That that a little, you know, oh, I, can, I can get 10 more chance. DPS, you know, uh, uh, level 1 through 5 if I do this. Uh, and it makes a difference. I mean, you really got to follow the league and keep up with it if, if you want to stay on top of the game and, and know what changes are going on and what champions are getting buffs and nerfs and things like that. So always fun to watch. Uh, said league, league is an awesome team player game uh, to be played at the high school level, in my opinion, and world championship too. But just the amount of teamwork involved and communication these players have to have to be successful Let's see if we'll get the auto start or if we'll have to kick start this thing here. Go Yellow Jackets. I agree. I said, and we should be kicking off here. Should be getting the loading screen. See if we win the skin war. Very important to win the skin war. Yeah, we like to see the good skins here. Let's see here. 
Oh, Chuck, we're going four for five on that skin war there. I, yep. I think we may have got that one. Sure enough, and the stream's automatically started by wow, itself. Wow, Riot, way to go, Riot. Good on, job. on top of things this week, the, the stream's actually starting up without Chuck having to kickstart it. Yeah, let me see if I can pull this off. I'm going to go ahead and try to get this Cobra off our mini-map. May put it up here in this corner. Hey, that works. Yellow Jackets are going to be in the blue. Fountain Lake is going to be in the red for this game. Looks like both teams are starting off with just a pretty traditional leash. Said uh, Fountain Lake definitely going to leash here for sure for their jungler. So. Not sure about. I don't think the Yellow Jackets are. Yeah, they're no, they're not, Chuck. I just now saw that in the bottom corner there. Uh, Ghost Dragon and the support guy going to go ahead and try to sneak down there, see if they can't get that first minion wave, see if they can't try to get Pryo there. Lux versus Nocturne in that mid should be pretty interesting, Chuck. Nocturne tons and tons of burst damage. Uh, mm. Lux tons of control. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. This, these top laners are, are just going to go ahead and get this started right off the bat. They're not even going to wait on minions. Man, the Olaf very aggressive there into the Mordekaiser. Mordekaiser Kaiser backing off. Just going to catch that minion wave. With Fountain Lake getting a good leash here, getting Viego off to a strong start. Looks like maybe Yellow Jackets already found their way into the bush there at the bottom. Yep. Yep, they sure did, and I, I, I think they're going to – they're wanting Fountain Lake to think that they leashed, and they just haven't made it there yet, but we'll see if they fall for this or not. No, they're shy. Yep, Looks they're like shy. already popped out, yeah. Yep. Don't blame them. Hey, that's okay. It's, it's, it's worth trying. That's all part of the strategy, so we'll see what they can end up doing here. Poor guy getting a good push off there. Ghost Dragon pushing hard and heavy there in the bottom. They're going to keep them under tower as much as they can. Chicken Lord's going to have a battle in the top lane. Yeah, he is. Bam, nice, nice hook there. Nice that was by the support guy, yep. Ghost Dragon wants a piece of a, of that misfortune. Yeah, here he's comes going to the, get it too, but the they're, going to bring the, they're going to bring the gank down here, Chuck, to try to counter Doesn't that. Doesn't matter. Ghost Dragon's nope. all in. Ghost Dragon's not afraid of that game. Nope. And Says, go back under tower. Right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> support guy's right there saying, if you step forward one more inch, I'm going to try to hook you. So, good Fountain Lake calling out the flash there. Nice communication by them. Oh, he just barely Chicken misses Lord, the hook. Yep. Night Wave just going, going to go ahead and look like do a full clear here. Very, very good. That should be good for him with this Olaf's going to get this wave crash here. And that's going to be about the time that Night Wave's going to be up in the top lane. So they could get a gank on this Olaf here if he keeps playing aggressive. Nice pull in there by the Chicken Lord. Just get, keep getting that yeah, poke stay, on Olaf. Stay under there. Yep. You won't be able, they won't be able to gank you very well if you're. Night Wave waits on their jungler to come. Wow, that was that's nice. Very, very nice. Waits in that bush. Waiting on the Viego. Is he going to get him? He uh, yes, he him? does. Very and he's still nice coming job. in. Night yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah he, he's off and rolling, and he, he forces the Lux back there, gives his mid laner a little relief there. Ooh, another good pull by the Chicken Lord. Yep. He gets that. Using it, using his heal there very well, Chuck. He, he kept the shield. That's one thing you want to do with Mordekaiser. And Ooh, Nightwave's Night Wave's coming in for the game. Try to come in for the gets the stall. Here. Oh, oh. Like a, oh, he just barely flashes out of that choke. Wow. But we do give up the, the flash. Yep. That gets Mordekaiser back in the middle. Yep. Uh, if, uh, if you can just get that flash off of a gank, uh, Chuck, as a jungler, that's a win. I mean, because you, you got the flash, and now they don't have the bailout. They know you can come back, and then they're going to be in trouble the next time because they won't have the flash. Nice hook by the support guy, Chuck. He's just pulling he's them right in. It. Ghost Dragon's going to get another one here? No? Yes! Yes, he does. Takes them down. Hit Mayor the support Cactus. guy with the exhaust. I think they probably meant to get Ghost Dragon with that, but either way, very, very nice setup there by the support guy. Nice job finishing by the ADC. And, man, they are putting some heat on this bottom lane down here, Chuck. They sure are. And the top lane's holding his own, and so is mid lane. Um, usually Colonel Garfield's jungler type. 
He's playing an excellent mid mid game here against that Lux. We know how frustrating playing against the Lux can be, yes. especially in that mid lane. And it looks like Gang's coming in on this Lux. Yeah, it does. It looks like they're going to try to force this oh, Lux they out. Get the stall. Nice stun. Viego there for the counter Coming gank, in. though. Yeah. Nice job working back and they forth. They do get the root the stun, off. Kills Dragon goes Coming Dragon. Up. Yep. He said, nope, not today, my friend. Uh, we're here. And they're going to go down and try to get this Dragon Chuck, which is very, very smart. That's that's exactly what they should and, do. And they definitely even advertised it. Chicken Lord now got pressure in top lane. He needs to watch out for that gang because they may trade Drake for top lane here. It, it could be, but he's doing a good job, and he's got Pryo right now. He's got the health advantage on the OWASP, so he can just keep pushing. Before they realize that this Drake's down, it's Drake's down. Yeah, yeah. They're going to go ahead and get this Drake here. Nice mop up. Like I said, we got nice pressure in the top lane. Bottom lane has good pressure. Mid lane doing a great job on the dip there on the Drake. Nice, nice job punch. by the Chicken Lord there, getting that extra poke in. Gets the cannon. Good job clearing out there. Man, he's, he's, he gets one more push on this wave up here, Chuck. He'll get a free back. And mid lane just farming away. Both content to go back and forth. Uh, Nocturne's going to be real real dangerous in this mid lane when he hits level six, Chuck. Because Bam. if he can get that, I can get you from anywhere. Gank and Lux is going to Looks like an ultimate. Careful. Like the, yeah. the, the top lane was what to do a little ultimate swap and a lot better yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, almost gets the hook there. Support guy always looking for that. Ever vigilant with trying to set up his ADC. Chicken Lord backing off here. Just yeah, a he, bit. it's like if he gets the grab, good. If he don't, he just yep. backs off. And, and smart play. Yeah, it is smart play. Don't don't let him get the advantage. Don't let him get you under tower where you don't want to be. You got lane prio. Just keep it. Now make make him fight to have to get that back. Bottom lane did back there to buy. Um, they should have got a pretty good buy there. Yep, nice job. I like it. Viego is floating around up top, so I'm sure Chicken Lord's aware that he hasn't seen him on the map in a while. Knows he could be yeah. anywhere. Said mid later, cleaning out uh, some vision there. Udir finally going to take it back, or not Udir? Um, Nocturne. Yep. Last time at top lane. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Oh, and here it, it comes, comes Chuck. In. There it Got comes, you. right there. I called it level six. Nice. You, you, that's Beautiful. Nocturne. That's what he does. He's an assassin. Beautiful, beautiful job by our mid laner. Realizing the Lux was pushed up, knew that, hey, I just went and bought. I can burn her down, and that's exactly what he did. Oh. Oh, there's another nice hook. And he's running the frost room there, too, yes. Truck, and that just helps so much more because that means that when he does hook them in, they're slowed every time that thing's on cooldown. And then Jinx doing a nice job there using the traps, too, to say, hey, if you come back this way any an inch, we got you trapped again. Yeah. No, another nice hook on the misfortune, Chuck. Yeah, misfortune's going to regret being alive. <laughs> well, I, I just like the the support guy. You know, he's taking what he can get, but every time he gets a chance to get some uh, poke or a hit on that misfortune, he's taking it. Chicken Lord backing off here. Yeah, shield must be to, down. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Olaf Olaf uses ultimate on that, so does get that cleared out of the way. Garfield, nice, nice juking right there. Doesn't get hit by the, the CC. Said, man, hit hooks the wall. Oh, that's going to work it's gonna out. It's going to go too. down. Yeah, yeah. And now Diego they got him is right into himself. the jaws yeah. uh, of the yellow jackets there, Chuck. Just nothing. Now Miss Fortune's just going to have to play. Yeah, the and Miss Fortune's going to get trapped and right there. Ghost Dragon's like, I don't care about tower. We'll, we'll take yeah. this. Nice Chicken Lord job coming by the strong. Yellow jackets. Yeah, and that he doesn't have to there. worry about a gank now because of the kill at the moment yep and it, oh beautiful beautiful job by the support guy trying oh they to, got oh, it yeah, yeah. she no, ults, it's over but there's nothing she could do about that ghost, ghost dragon. dragon's got plenty of time to heal up excellent job by ghost dragon and the support guy beautiful yeah beautiful beautiful play in that bottom lane there chuck that was just a great rotation by the jungler unfortunate for fountain lakes jungler because he did come in and do what he needed to do to try to support his team. He just didn't realize Nightwave was right behind him. They turn around and just turn the tide right on him as soon as he comes out of that bush in the bottom lane. There's nothing he could do coming out of river. He, no. just, he just got caught in a bad spot. <laughs> Chicken Lord wanted Chicken a little Lord. revenge. Oh, I'm that, sure. Yeah, That broken shield hurts bad, but... Yep. 
hits. I don't. Yeah, yeah he's gonna be able to take tower come hit. in this time. Yeah. Uh, one more tower hit, and he would have been toast there. So, good job by Chicken Lord getting back. Let Udir rotate up here. Uh, one thing that he can do right here in this spot, Chuck, is he can really bait Udir in if 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 uh, our uh, Olaf in if Udir's gonna rotate up. Yeah, Nightwave's yeah. kind Night of getting the position. Yeah, but there's the vision right there. Yep. He's Olaf coming in. That, that vision. That, yeah. Olaf, he thought better of it. Yeah. If he'd have went down in there, he'd have got a whole lot of Nightwaves he didn't want. Yeah. That was a good job by their top laner, though, having vision in that bush because if he didn't, he it definitely would have got the gank there. Chicken Lord backing off. Good good deal. Colonel Garfield playing, playing smart. Yep. Said it. If I'm Colonel Garfield right now, I'm just saying, you know what? I'm farming right here. There's nothing you can do about it. And if you get too close, I will ult you. I will ult, <laughs> I'll ult dead I, I, you. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this is just whatever you want. Yeah, you want to come in? Yeah, let's if you want to come in, then let's let's play. That's that's my game, and, and I'm going to play it. So good job by him keeping the pressure Olaf up Olaf getting the free lane. back, taking the free yeah. back. Good smart move by the Cobras there. I'm going to say if the Yellow Jackets can get another play right here, they're going to rotate up for that Drake, Chuck. Yeah, I, I believe so. I, you know Ghost Dragon loves his objectives. Here we go. They do get mid down. See if Colonel Garfin – oh, yes. He's going to – he's going to – uh, oh. Night wave coming in here. Ghost Dragon sent that missile across the, the map. map. Yeah. Well, Excellent job on a by Night Wave. But good job there by Colonel Garfield, too. Turning around, knew he couldn't run, so he turned around and got as much damage in as he could. Yeah, and then when Night Wave showed up, Night Wave cleared out. Yep. This gives free Drake. There's nothing Miss Fortune can do about it. No. Miss Fortune just has to sit down there in bottom lane and wish that she had um, the ability to cancel that. Yeah, they, they don't have a global. Uh, the closest thing that they've got is probably the range of their support. Ooh, and there goes and the mayor, Ghost yeah. Dragon is Ghost Dragon go gets in. another one. Yeah. Ghost Dragon is. It's 4 0 and uh, 2. We've yeah. got a 450 bounty. He's showing up and showing out. He said he was going to have a crowd watching. We do have five viewers, so if you're new to the stream, uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, but. Not waves there got four zero and zero and as a jungle that's excellent. Yeah, they're they're doing really well. Clinton is really working well as a team here. They're getting pressure on every lane, Chuck. That's what I like. It's not just one lane that they're shoving through. It's hard for Fountain Lake to rotate in anything because there's so much pressure on lane. Uh, Olaf is getting a little push up here at top, but we got Mordecai's are coming back after buying so. Uh, I'm going to look for the Yellow Jackets to rotate up on that at some point. I, I think they're going to have enough of that. Eventually. Here comes the Herald out. Yep. <laughs> Not waves catching them as they exit. Yep. Yeah, there's nothing yeah, they can do about it. Do anything about it. Excellent job by the Yellow Jackets. Using they get this the Rift tower, Herald. and they still have Rift Herald for the next tower. Yeah, and they did a great job of using that Rift Herald to soak up some of that damage. Man, Colonel Garfield. Is oh, Lux, right is, in on the Lux, Lux, Lux is, is not having fun. Nope. There Lux goes the ultimate, ultimate but, but it's not going to be enough against Nocturne. Well, Nocturne sidesteps it, Chuck, and he doesn't take hardly any damage, if any, off of that. So he used very good awareness by our mid laner to clear out on that and not take that damage. And man, they're going to, yeah, they're going to tower dive the Olaf, Lux here. Olaf's hiding in the bush yep. there for, for Mordekaiser up top. Great one on one play there by Nocturne, realizing that Lux is too low and then he could dive it. Man, oh, we got the ultimate coming out from Lux here, and we know. How devastating that can be. Nightwave's coming it. in. Ouch. Yep. Man, nice canceled hook. out. There's nothing they can do about Ghost that. Ghost Dragon coming in. Four again. on one. Yep. There's constant pressure in the bottom. Um, yeah, top really lane's is. playing their own little game. That's yeah. over, that's the meme there. <laughs> yep. Yep. Sure are, but the Yellow Jackets have done a great job of controlling the objectives in this game so far, Chuck. They've got the Dragons, they got the Rift Herald. So they are definitely in the driver's seat right now. I said, I, I know Chicken Lord is wanting to, he wants wanting to, to say, get to hey, we, we, yeah. can, we can play your game, and, you know, he's going to bust out the ultimate, but then Olaf's going to bust out the ultimate too. So they, they're definitely going back and forth here. Uh, Yellow Jackets are definitely have, have a little – building a lead here, building a gold lead, so doing a good job with their farming, keeping their CS up, even though, you know, they're, they're leading, they're pushing – but still focusing on that farming. We like got three to. yellow jackets right now with bounties on. It's quickly becoming one-sided here. Um, yeah. Six and a half K gold lead, uh, two drakes, 15 to three on the kill count. 
Fountain Lake clearing out vision here. It's a very good job by them. They're trying to get some control back in this, trying to get a wave push. I know exactly what they're trying to do, uh, and that's exactly what they should be doing. Uh, Ghost Dragon and Sport Guy trying to bait this here. Oh, he just grabs a minion instead of grabbing the Lux. Oh, uh, maybe two. Lux still gets stopped enough. Man, that that Ghost uh, Dragon takes down that Lux like nothing. That frozen ground, Chuck. It's just killer because the Support Guy every time he auto attacks, it stuns for a half second uh, yeah. on a new target. And then if you throw that slow out there, and it's so big and such such a long range that it just devastating if you get caught in it. Yeah, I know you like to play a lot of Nocturne. Yes, I played a lot of Nocturne. Love love playing uh, some Nocturne, the big guy. And uh, always a lot of fun. Nightwave's coming in to help out. He yep. runs off with a little bit of mean. Sport guy they, coming up. I Ghost Dragon coming up. This, yeah. uh, Olaf just needs to get out of here. Uh, because yeah. this minion wave comes, I promise you they're going to dive this. And uh, Yeah, it's I, not I mean, going to end should. well. Um no, they're just waiting to see who's going to take the aggro here. And I'm sure support guys. They're saying, rotating hey. out. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, so support guy, guy getting, getting caught out. He's, yep. Flash is nice there. Flash in the night wave. They're going to get the kill off this. Right there. Yeah. They do get the shut down there. Support guy. Looks like he's going to go down. But, yep, sure enough. Uh, gets him off. They're up getting there the by push the in the mid. Yeah. And Ghost, Ghost Dragon's Dragon just going to go to yep. town on this tower, Chuck. He's he's rotated all the way up from bottom lane now, so and and there's not the much top. you're going to be able to do there for no for this this rift. Um, uh, yeah. Great move here by Chicken Lord, recognizing that hey, let's get this. It's rift all communication. I, I, yeah. I'm sure Ghost Dragon was telling him the whole time. Hey, look, I got the tower. You head on down. Hey, he's, because he natural instinct would be to, to take that tower, but excellent job, excellent communication. Yep. Oh, oh man, Colonel look Garfield at this coming in. I'm yeah, telling that, you, that Lux Ultimate's just not uh, going to be enough. It, no, he'll and, take it face on. Yeah, I know we called this early on, Chuck, but uh, uh, I'm telling you that against a squishy like Lux, that that Ultimate is just completely devastating. Nightwave trying to zone out here. They may force the Yellow Jackets off this. Yep, flash across the wall. Here comes support guy. Here comes support guy. That wave's pretty man, damaged. Been, ooh, ooh, look at that ultimate coming ooh, in from Ghost the Dragon is there, legendary. Is, Absolutely. Yeah. I, I know the crowd like to see Ghost Dragon yeah, get that missile in. Wow. Yeah, and then Beautiful. this is going to allow back them the with this rotation to come right in here and mop up this dragon. Excellent teamwork by these Yellow Jackets, Chuck. Excellent, excellent. They, they went in just enough to keep fountain lake hanging around there until everyone else could rotate in and then when they did they just put the hammer down and, and poor olaf really wants to contest that mordekaiser but without that tower he's kind of in a bad position uh, mordekaiser has vision so he's going to start pulling back to wave good move yep. not a whole lot you can do about that uh, he's going to try to destroy the vision but it's too late we already know he's there well really good check in this situation if if, gets the tower here. Yeah, if Chicken Lord can just keep him busy up there, the mid lane is being gutted right now. So as long as Olaf stays up there, it's really helping the Yellow Jackets because he's not able to help circumvent that mid lane push. Yeah. But they're trying to rotate up here the, to the top. The communication's really great here in the lab, though. We can hear the call outs. It's very clear. They're not, like, typically a lot of times it's just a lot of noise and you don't understand what they're saying. And today, I understand. I know what's happening without seeing it. I can, yeah, I can tell what's late going to try to come in here on the top laner. Top laner trying to burn down the Olaf. I don't think it's going to happen. Nocturne's just too squishy for that. But these Yellow Jackets are coming, uh, rotating up here, I said. And this leaves bottom lane wide open, Chuck. So this is going to let uh, – the support guy yeah. in the ADC have a chance to get this. And, and, man, and that way just going to have fun here with the two, yeah, two bottom yeah. laners from Forest Lake. They're, they're both squishy, you know, and he oh, just felt oh, like he could oh. run in there. Yeah, he better be careful with he this He backed right off, here. Ghost Dragon but coming Ghost Dragon in. comes and wraps wrap around, up, Chuck. Yeah. And the support guy's on the case right here, and he's going to say, no, no, no. Yeah, get off my Chicken ADC. Lord's there to soak up some of that damage. Yep. Man, beautiful, Take down beautiful, some of the Chuck. Hell. Support guy really Team showing out here. Definitely. Oh, so close with the hook. Oh, I know what that feels like. So close. Just a little bit closer, and it would have been lights out for Olaf there, Chuck. 
They get the, they get the the slowdown on the support guy. That just saved their bacon there. Yeah, and we're gonna have Baron spawning in here now too, Chuck. So the Yellow Jackets can complete this push. Now Fountain Lake's gonna have to do something about that bottom lane. They know it. They see it. They're responding to it. But this is gonna give the Yellow Jackets another chance to push that mid lane, Chuck, because they've got a minion wave coming right here, and they're having to respond to bot. So it's it's up to the Yellow Jackets what they want to do here with this. I, I'm looking to see them uh, just start going into straight team fight mode here very soon. I think that's where they what they should do. Uh, get grouped up, get a big push going, uh, or get Baron either way. If they get enough push on the bottom lane, they can force their way into a Baron pretty easily. Fountain Lake still doing a good job of farming though, Chuck. They're not giving up. They know they need that farm. They know they need to catch up on gold. And that's the way they get back in this game. If, if the Yellow Jackets aren't careful and let them farm, they could be right back in this game. I don't think they're going to let them farm for too long. Um, they're going to keep pressure on them. Uh, I think they're just grouping up and getting ready for their, their attack here. Yeah, Colonel Garfield getting a little poke in there, trying to make them scared. Nightwave's uh, putting pressure on this tower. Yep, All by yep. himself, he's got two people occupied. Yep. There's not going to be a whole lot of farming going on. Look at this gang squad. Yep. And now he's coming down. He's like, uh, let's get this party started, guys. Yeah, I'm ready. And, oh, uh, and they do get one sectioned off. Yep. Diego busted out the ultimate on Nightwave. It was not enough to burn him down with everyone Olaf there. really doesn't have anywhere to go. No, he really doesn't, Chuck. He's, he's in trouble here. I so said support guy does a great job of mopping up that damage, taking those tower hits. Here comes so Miss Fortune. Else. Lux gets a couple damage on that. Yep. The thing about that Lux ultimate, it doesn't hit hard. But you can hit multiple people, and you can do it quickly. She'll have that up for the next five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She does, her, her, She's very short cooldown on her ultimate. Uh, she's probably down to 30 seconds or so already. 420. Support guy, Nocturne, Mordekaiser, getting that tower out of the way. Very nice job. All external towers out of the way. Um, Yellow Jackets still have all theirs. Looking very good. Yeah, if you look at Colonel Garfield here, too, he's played a ton, a ton of jungle for us, and this is a 1,000 IQ move by him by clearing out the jungle, Ghost Dragon's doing also. But if you notice, uh, Colonel Garfield left one Raptor. That means that camp will not respawn. Okay. And so whenever the enemy jungler comes to clear that camp, he knows that can somebody do that raptor. to you. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what you want to do. Though you leave one one raptor, it doesn't respawn that, and it does not gain a level. So it is a big XP nerf. A ghost dragon sitting at eleven zero and six right now, and got a seven hundred gold bounty. Big old target on his head. Let's see if they can collect. I'm going to say they can't. Uh, at this point, Chuck, he's, he, he's, he's so fed, I don't think that they're going to be able to do much with him. If they did catch him out, it uh, would be the only way, and I just don't see that happening at this point. Cause and the, the whole team would be, have to collapse on him. Yeah, the Yellow Jackets are just going to be content to team, team fight, and that's exactly what they should do. They're going to pop Drake here. Yep. Uh, Mordekaiser going to try to warp in, get him a piece of it. They, Shows up just in time to help them clear out. Yeah, they got the Baron buff here, Chuck. So this this should give them a really, really good push right here. Oh, nice gank by Nocturne coming in from the side there. Didn't see it coming at all. Well, Missile comes out. Yeah, and he's going to get the misfortune too. And then, man, the rest of his team just piles in. He ends up getting the triple there, Chuck. Very nice gank by the Nocturne coming in from the side where he couldn't be seen. Fountain Lake didn't know what hit him there. And, man, they're getting an excellent push here, Chuck. That's exactly what they should be doing. They got the Baron buff, got the tower down, got the inhibitor, and now they should be able to just keep putting pressure on here, Chuck. You can see Ghost, Ghost Dragon behind us, so yeah. I'm going to say he doesn't lose a life. He has a perfect <laughs> game. Good perfect job, game. everybody. Perfect game. <laughs> That's cool. We got Sad. the team around us right now. Yep. Looks like they're just about to clear it out here. Next push should do it. So not much Fountain Lake can do here. They have to defend <laughs> Look their at base. Ghost. And so there's not really a whole lot they can do to push out here. The only thing they can do is just try to get the minions pushed out of their base. Yellow Jackets have put so much pressure on each lane that I, there's there's not just there's not a lane that they don't have to defend right now. They've got to defend it all, and that's a, that's a huge task. So Ghost Dragon. Uh, 
pushing in here. Looks like they're going to be trying to go and, and push the stop back. Olaf coming up. I think we're going to see uh, another group up here in just a few uh, seconds. And I think they're going to try to go for a final push here, Chuck. Gets the vision cleared out. Lux just kind of hanging around. Man, we got another gank coming in here. Colonel Garfield's got several ganks off in this game that just come out of nowhere. It's exactly what Nocturne does. Uh, Assassin has been very successful, had a triple kill in that last team fight. Man, Ghost Dragon <laughs> getting, a, getting a little poke here. Support guy gets an excellent route. Good job by him. And, he, yeah, the Yellow Jackets are going to take this here. Yeah. Just too, just too far ahead. Ooh. Mm. Oh, nice. Very, very like nice that. job. Yes. And now we're going to get the ultimate coming out here. Round two. Yep, we're about to go round two here and see how this goes. Got a thumbs up yeah, in chat. It looks, like, it looks like Yellow Jackets are going to go ahead and knock this out here. And so the first game's going to go to the Yellow Jackets. Very nice job by them. Very well played. Good good team match. Very very well played. I went AV, Udyr, and built all All right, they'll roll this back here, and we'll have another draft, and we'll play round two against Fountain Lake. Nice job by this Fountain Lake team. So they just got rocked back on their heels there. We've been in the same spot before. Hard to fight back from that, uh, especially whenever you get that gold discrepancy, and you just can't buy the items to keep up with the enemy is, is what it boils down to. So nice job by them. They did not give up. They fought to the bitter end just like we, we always do. So kudos to Fountain Lake for that. And we'll see what they figure out, Chuck. I know they're strategizing. They'll be trying to come up with a new strategy against these Yellow Jackets. Yes, good game. Thanks uh, for the crowd being involved. Appreciate y'all. Yeah. I like to see the chat going during the stream. Yeah. Um, yeah, woo. Yeah, there you go. Yes. I said, we'll, we'll see what happens here. They're, they're loading back up, so we're going to get everybody back in the game and uh, get a draft started so we can talk about it. Yeah, Ghost does make it look easy. He makes me think I can play the game, and then I get on there and I can't. But sometimes Ghost will play with me, and he'll carry me, and so that's a lot of fun. They can <laughs> – A lot of a lot of our players played this game for a long time. They're they're very good at it, and uh, you know they enjoy playing. So it's always fun to watch them. Always fun to get to commentate them. Looks like they're saying they're ready, so they're ready to go. The Yellow Jackets will get this fired up here. All right, I'm gonna All switch right. out our our deals here real quick. Yellow Jack is going to be in the center corner. Cobras should be playing red. They got a cool mascot. I agree. Uh, kudos to Fountain Lake for their mascot. I really like it. So it's something different than the we see. Now, but before the game starts, I'll get it back up in the corner. Something different than we see here in the state with the, the Cobras. and uh, I, just, I just like the design. I like the graphics. Yeah, yeah the, the, the purple and yellow, nice complementary colors. Yep. Really cool deal. Jin is going to be the first ban, and yes. Yellow Jackets are going to say, Ghost we Dragon don't want your does Darius. have top uh, CS. What's Ghost Dragon top in the state at? Uh, yes, in uh, gold farming right now. Gold farming. Yeah, gold, gold per minute. He, he's top in the state right now. So he He's hoping that this boosts him up in some other categories as well. So, so we'll, we'll see what all he's top in after we're done. Um, he really loves this game, and um, he spends a lot of time – figuring it out so. so they're gonna ban out his samira and they're gonna ban a nocturne this time chuck they don't they don't want any of that nocturne medicine in that mid lane again and i don't blame them no i really don't nocturne was able to turn the tide on several fights there just just by getting those those <laughs> games and turn it into a kill, four yeah. more, you know four on five uh yellow jackets did a great job of that so they're going to ban out the Cho'Gath and the Yorick again. So Yellow Jacket's staying with the same exact bans. I think I would, too, just because of the way game one went. I would say, you know what? It worked uh, for us. Uh, we cooked up that recipe, and it, it was mighty tasty. So we're just going to see if we can cook it back up again. Win. I like the, I like the Gwen pick. Going to have uh, a Viego pick here we've seen, again. We've seen him, when he gets comfortable playing the Gwen, he, he can be a little bit of effective. 
Yeah, and we're going to have a Silas pick here on the Yellow Jacket side this time too, Chuck. So that was banned out last time. Do we all listen to music while you play? We don't while we're streaming. Uh, a lot of our players do like to listen to music while they play. I do when I'm at home. Um, but while we're streaming here in the lab, it's just not really possible. So, yeah, and they also they also like to be able to communicate clearly. So they just sitting there with their their headsets off. And most of them don't have the volume up very loud at all, and and they're just listening to each other communicate. So. A lot of times they don't um, when we're we're in competitive. We got a Jax pick and a Vigar, so I'm gonna assume Jax is gonna be the top laner truck. It's gonna be played into that Gwen. That should be fun to watch. Vigar mid Chuck, what do you think about that Vigar? I hate Vigar. You know I hate Vigar. I know that's why I'm asking. Ooh, you. yeah. Anivia. Anivia. I know that. That that's gonna be interesting. Yep. Uh, Vigar going against an Anivia yeah. will be interesting. Yes, uh, Vigar has been known to make Chuck and I want to Alt F4 delete the game a few times when we played in uh, in queues before. Uh, Vigar is very, very annoying and scales so hard that if he gets fed, he will just literally delete you <laughs> over and over and over yeah, again. He'll control Alt Delete you quick. Yeah. <laughs> They ban out the Jinx, Chuck. They don't want to see that Jinx again. I don't, don't blame, blame them, them but you that. can't. But you can't ban out the Dragon. No. You can't ban out the Ghost Dragon. No. I mean, you're just picking your poison at this point. I would, I would, I would attempt to ban out the mid laner or the 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 um, support, but you're not going to ban out Ghost Dragon. No, that's the thing is we have several players that play so many champions and they're so good with those champions that you cannot ban them out. I love seeing the Nautilus again. Get the big guy back in there. He's very successful on him. I know he's good on the Amumu. And I like to see him play the Amumu just because it's fun to watch. But, man, he, our support guy played a great game, Chuck. Yeah. Like, you just take the difference in, like, we really do stress um, variety in your gameplay. Like, you look at the top lane from going from Mordekaiser to Gwen. Yeah. Like, those characters are almost like playing a different game. Yeah, they are. I said, Gwen originally brand. was a, a, a tank buster, but yeah, playing him to a brand, and they, oh, no. oh here's my guy, Chuck. Oh, this is, this is uh, tugging at my heartstrings here. Moki is effective at crowd control if they use him correctly. Yes. Uh, I like to play him in the jungle. Uh, he is super, super annoying, has tons of vision and tons of crowd control. His, not only his ultimate, but he slows you with his minions. Uh, and he can also stun you, so I do like that as a, a support pick. And that's going to help Fountain Lake. I think that's really a 1,000 IQ pick for them because if you have a ward uh, as a support and you throw those minions in the bush, Chuck, then you have tons and tons of vision. So I think that may be worth that they're trying to go for here. I said I like the Zaya pick. I said cannot ban out Ghost Dragon. Um, he'll just pick another champion. It really doesn't matter to him. Uh, Caitlyn is going to be playing into that now. I, I like the Caitlyn and, uh, and Mokai, Mokai uh, uh, combo here, Chuck. That's, that's oh, going to be really good. That's slow on that one. See if I can get that up. Oh, we hit some gum. All right, we got uh, a spectator. We're on the delay. Yeah, yeah we're, we're on, on the, the delay, delay right now, so. They're not, well, but we are. Yeah. So, here we go. Said, I, I think, I, I'm going to say what I would try to do if I was Fountain Lake here. If I'm Fountain Lake, uh, I, I'm going to try to play safe probably in the bottom lane. Don't let Ghost Dragon get uh, fed if I can at all. Uh, try to put some pressure with their jungler, Chuck. Their jungler was successful on a couple of those dips there that he did. Uh, he had really good tempo in the jungle. I think their jungler could be successful, especially if he goes uh, top or mid lane, either one, and puts more pressure there. But he's going to have to help I, on that bottom lane. Uh, he's he's going to have he's to be have, into well, it. You know, I mean, if and I, I don't want to have to – I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it, cause, but really and truly – I don't know. 
I think if we if they can stall as much on the bottom lane as possible, if they get enough pressure on the top that you have to answer, I really think that if you're going to win this playoff, that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to get enough pressure that we can't just do what we want to in the bottom. And, and from the Yellow Jacket standpoint, Chuck, what are you what are you looking for them to do in this match? Um, a lot of the same. Go to team fights as early as possible. Keep taking on the objectives. Uh, keep keep the crowd control under control, which they done last game. Last game yeah. was crowd control, and we beat that. So I don't see why we wouldn't beat this crowd control. Um, but if I'm Yellow Jackets, protect the pop, top lane. Don't let that scenario happen that I just described. Um, you you want to be able to keep pressure and keep plowing that bottom lane, and and your the jungle's going to have to watch the mid two the the mid and the top to make sure that it don't get pushed out of hand. While Ghost Dragon does Ghost Dragon things at the bottom. That's right. <laughs> I, I agree. Their their jungler's got a, a, a full plate uh, in front of him, but I think it's something he can tackle. Like I said he had very good tempo in that game. I did notice that from him. Um, Vigar, have to be careful with that. Don't let the Vigar get out of hand. Uh, like I said, we've, we've seen that scenario many, many times. Uh, but for these Yellow Jackets, they definitely had control of objectives, Chuck. That's one thing. I'm very proud of their play in that game. They dominated objectives. They got the Rift Herald. They got Drakes. They got the Baron. They completely dominated those objectives, and that allowed them to just snowball that game. All right, we're about to get underway. Let's see if we can get some Go Jackets there in the, the comments. Let's see if, yeah, let's see if we, we can keep the crowd alive there. Go Jackets, there. we got um, yeah. some viewers in there. Like, no, who's still with us? Uh, we got Tortured Sparrow just just uh, posted in here. Yeah, Songbird 5060. Sure enough. Yeah, yeah, go waffles Jack. for you. Thank That's you, right. Tortured. Let's go, Jackets. Tortured Sparrow, appreciate you. Oh, what these yellow jackets are kicking off here. Doesn't look like you're gonna have to jump start the stream once again, Chuck. This might it. be a new record for Riot. Are we gonna have to reach out to their support team and let them know that we noticed? Um, <laughs> yeah, we probably should. Um, everybody out there in, in, in the inner, inner world, there we go, Waffles. Thank you for the go jackets. Appreciate you. Like to see the the stream active. Oh yeah, um, it makes us feel a lot better about doing this. Yep, appreciate the, appreciate the support on the stream. Love having people watch. We love streaming these games, so it's kind of a, a passion project for us, really. Yeah, and, we, we, and love we, love supporting, we love supporting these kids. And Wow, jumps right in on Chicken Lord there with Gwen. Gwen popping out of there, nice. Oh, yeah, nice job there. Hunting down the Gwen, wanting to see if she was there, found she was I there. I guess the whole time I was thinking Vigar was going to – Okay, yes, Vigar is playing mid. Okay, yep. I'm yep. Getting my heroes mixed up. Yep, Manivia getting a little poke in on the Vigar there. Nice job. So it looks like you're going to have uh, another leash here uh, by Fountain Lake. They will be in the blue this time, Chuck. Uh, Yellow Jack is going to be in red, so. Yep, I've got, I've got the, the logos. Here. The top yep. right corner is Chuck, Yellow Jackets. Chuck's on top of the stream. Always does an excellent, excellent job of no, driving our you. stream, so I really appreciate it. Makes makes us look good. Yeah, I almost didn't have enough time to get the stream ready today. Well, but, he didn't have to get the stream ready in the last five seconds before the match started, so it probably threw him off a little bit because he was actually ahead of schedule. <laughs> Oh, nice hook here by the support guy. Just starting right back where, and they got the ignite off too, Chuck. So that's gonna Ouch. ADC's gonna have to burn uh, those healing potions right off the bat. Man, another another top oh, lane battle yep. here to begin with. Oh, that ignite! It's gonna, gonna get, get the oh, ignite. Gwen's yep. Going down. yep, Gwen is gonna go down. Gonna get they the first get one on the jacks. Blood. Nice, nice one on one play there by the jacks. Got to watch out with that. Uh, immunity that Jax have. Whenever he casts that, you pretty much just have to get away from him. And then when it's on cooldown, that's when you go in on him. This Anivia uh, into uh, Vigar is going to be interesting, Chuck. Ghost yeah, Dragon. I called that one before yeah. the game started. Yeah, you're, you're right, though. I can already see them with, just with the poke going back at them right here. Both using healing potions, both about the same health bar. Uh, both CS just about the same. I mean, they're they're really going head to head here. 
Jax is going to get the push here, and Gwen's just going to let that push go in. Not a problem at this point, though. Ooh, nice. Yeah, they're both at half. Man, like, yeah, that's nice what you expect job. To nice see. trade off here. And it both hitting the healing potions again, Chuck. I love it. Yep. Got to get, get, get back up. Yep. Both these players, uh, obviously, very familiar with both these champions. So, doing a great Ooh, job. Colonel Garfield pushing up. Yeah, heavy. he is. Ain't got vision out. Needs to be careful. Yep. Um, but it does look like he has it because they're back in base at the moment. So. Yep, not scared to get there. Nightwave, pretty low on the Silas, but now Silas is such bursty damage, Chuck. It's it's frustrating to play against Silas because, oh, and he's going to go down to the minion. Oh, that explains the yell earlier. Uh, I heard I heard the classic Dane Campbell scream earlier. Uh, we're going to put that on his highlight reel, Chuck. That is I going to we're colleges. Yep, we're we're going to send that, that out to colleges. To we're going to send that to Hendrix immediately, yeah. Yeah, we're going to put that on his highlight reel for sure. Yep. yep Coach please. Horton, we're sending that one to you. Okay, so we are <laughs> underway in the second game. Clinton Yellow Jackets in the red, um, upper right corner. Uh, uh, Forest Lake in the blue, bottom left corner, the Cobras. Cobra Kai. Yeah, welcome to our new uh, viewers here, Chuck. We got it picked up a couple more people here watching. So, welcome to the Clinton Yellow Jacket stream. Glad mm, to have Chicken you. Chicken Lord caught out. Chicken Gang Lord comes caught in. out. Yeah, this is going to wow. be his second time to go down. Fountain Lake doing an excellent job there. We talked about that I, their I jungler was going to have to step their game said. up, and, and that's what said. they're doing here, Chuck. They they're looking really good. They're starting off as a, a totally different team here. But bottom is playing safe, just like we talk about. They're content to play under that tower. And that's what they're doing right now. And their their jungler got the play that he needed to get to to get. He has excellent tempo right now. You get a chance to back, buy, and then come back right into the jungle and start farming again. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, anytime you're commentating, you worry about what you say, especially when it's your own team. But, you know, their play, I do believe, is to exploit the top lane, try to put enough pressure so that um, Ghost Dragon doesn't get to have his way in the bottom lane. Yep, nice job by Chicken Lord there, sliding in, getting that little poke, but still staying underneath the tower and, and not taking the, uh, those free shots from Jax there. Oh, man, Silas grabs a minion, Chuck. If he would have grabbed the Vigar there, Vigar would have been toast. He just misses and hits a minion, uh, Nightwave does. Would have been a great gank there, Chuck. Absolutely. Don't see that very often out of him. Also, don't see him die to a, a jungle minion very often. So, uh, said just barely missed that timing off just a little bit. Now, the Drake's up on uh, the map here, so I want to see how the Yellow Jackets react to this. They definitely choked out uh, objectives last time uh, against Fountain Lake. So, yep, Fountain Lake's jungler doing an excellent job of keeping that pace up down there just like he needs to. Sure enough, and it looks like they're 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 prepared to to contest. Yeah, they are. They are at this point. We got Viego wanting to wanting to do a, a little bit of a dip there. It could happen. Uh, our Vigar, he's getting, he's getting yeah, vision Viego's there. Viego's getting the vision. Excellent job by Fountain Lake there, getting that vision, knowing what's going on in that pit. Yeah, after the last game, they're going to want to be able to control objectives just a little better than they did before. Colonel Garfield trying to keep these stuns on the Vigar here. Vigar is going to go right back. I thought we were going to see Silas come down there, Chuck. Ooh, I'm surprised he didn't. Colonel Garfield Very takes nice it. Nice job by the Colonel Garfield getting that mid, one on mid one lane, lane battle there. Yeah, very nice getting job. Getting Clinton's first uh, kill, putting getting pressure on, the board. on this. Yep, going yep. to put mid lane pressure. Very, very smart here, though, Chuck. Look, he's backing off of it. Knows he doesn't have vision on that top side. Doesn't know where VA goes at for sure. He's going to make sure he's not going to let him get a free shot on him. No, but it does look like he's going to collect some gold on this. Yep, he's going to go ahead and get that gold. Excellent, excellent job by our mid laner. we got Ghost Dragon uh, putting some pressure on down his bottom lane, Chuck. He's just quietly farming right now, so don't count him out. Look at Viego, his CS right now. Is Viego wrapping around here? It looks like Viego is going to try to wrap around. Um, there's got two on three on the bottom. They're going to try to contest this. They do get um, major cactus down. Major cactus down. That's uh, the support on the other team. 
Looks like Caitlin's running for her life here. The support guy looking to get a nice hook off. Does get the hook in, but they flash out of it. Beautiful job so far. Ooh, Ghost Dragon taking a couple tower hits there. Hopefully got Argo off. Chicken Lord getting back under tower. Doing a little damage there. Colonel Nightwave's coming in, helping Colonel Garfield there with the, the Vigar. They're moving south now. It looks like the Drake is available. So, uh, yep, they played it smart. They didn't try to take it too early. They they made sure that they had everybody at one point before coming in. And All right, these Yellow Jackets got this uh, objective going. Chuck, it looks like I might need to step away again. <laughs> yeah, just clean playing, really. I mean, just excellent, excellent playing, strategy, making sure that all the pins were in place. Before going in and taking it, they they didn't try to they didn't try to commit too soon. Um, Chicken Lord's just been kind of playing under tower after those two deaths. He's like, okay, I see what's going on. I see you're going to be aggressive. Yep. Uh, I'm not going to let you do that to me no more. Garfield hiding out here. Got the vision out. Very nice job. Going to see if this Vigar might just try to step on up here. Could catch him out here if he's if. Decides that this is maybe not going to happen. Manny, he, he does a really good job with uh, countering that, that circle, Chuck. Yeah. Absolutely. Really does. That's a good pick into that Vigar. Diego farming away. I said Ghost Dragon still farming away. Man, he is. He's just running away with that CS, Chuck. And I think he's just content to say, you know what? I'll just get my CS up and get fed. Chicken Lord misses with the needles yeah, there, but, but Nightwave's Night coming, coming in. in. Yeah, it's oh, going to be hard with the Jax, though. Yep. I said Jax uh, is able to circumvent most of that burst damage off the Silas in the beginning there, so nice job by the Jax playing defensively. Oh, and Jax coming down. Yeah. Looks, like they're, looks like they're ready to collapse on that. That could be a bad situation for, for of Nightwave's there in the pit. Nightwaves gets out, but they are definitely going to try to take this Herald. Yep. And this is going to be – oh, they're going to try to push him off. The they're going to get – Man, yes. wow. Colonel Garfield and then just the damage just pumping out from the Silas here. Viego just barely gets – or Vigar just barely gets away. But this is going to give the Yellow Jackets this objective, Chuck, and that's really what they're after anyway. Yeah. Yeah, and he, there's really not much he can do. Um it looks like oh, just trying to get how away. How did that stun not hit him, Chuck? It doesn't matter. Nice job by Colonel Garfield But it was good, again, good, Chuck. good evasion. Doing really well there. Ghost Dragon almost picks up one right there. Support guy taking some take tower, tower, tower shots, <sighs> but man, they're trying to okay. trying to get in there and, and get that Malky and just don't quite get him. So not wave. Not wave. Man, you're right about that that damage, but yep. he does go down said he has tons and tons of burst damage colonel garfield trying to take the viego out chicken lord coming gets down gets the resurrection off yep man that was close almost had it yeah he almost had it i i don't i don't know how viego had any more left in the tank there but he had something to, to help keep that damage off of him i mean anybody's going to name their a uh, name uh, their um self tower diver you're going to have to be careful around them. You're probably right. <laughs> they letting you know what's up. Man, Jax doing a really nice job getting a double kill up there, Chuck. So, Fountain Lake not going away quietly here, Chuck. They, they're they definitely hanging around. They're putting pressure in the top, which, uh, like I said, I, I thought they would have – they're going to have to do. They're going to have to exploit that. Vigar's <laughs> so. getting a good push in the middle. we got a good push on the top here, so – you know, they're getting pressure on two lanes they're, here. Yeah, they're answering on the two lanes what we're doing in the bottom. Yep. And that's that's what I was saying Fountain Lake is going to have to do. Yep. They're going to have to put the pressure in. 
I'm going to guess that you're going to see these Yellow Jackets in this bottom lane get this push on in, and they're going to they're going to start rotating up. Yeah, they're they're not going to hang around down here. They're going to say, you know, you're going to play any tower. We're going to rotate up and, and and go somewhere else. I and might even do a lane swap here, Chuck. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I would think that would be the smart move because at this point, you know, you take your you take your wins and you rotate it out. You, yeah, you share it with the rest of the team. Yep. And here they go. They're rotating up right now. Are they positioning for – I don't know how long – I don't know what they're going to go for. I don't know how long Drake's got, but almost looks like they're positioning for Drake. Oh, they're going to put this Rift Herald down here, Chuck. That's what they're going to do. They're going to go ahead positioning and, for and Rift get that Herald, pressure yes. on the bottom lane regardless. Yep. That Man. should clear bottom. I think it will. Nightwave trying to hang around here, seeing if he can get something going. Man, almost get that tower. Don't quite get it, but I think they're going to get it right here. Yeah, here yeah they, they should. Are. It's down. Yeah, nice job by these Yellow Jackets. They're going to go ahead and put that pressure on the bottom lane regardless. Do end up getting the tower here. Know that they can get a push here. They got, nice they got that just right before plates went down. Did though. you notice that they collected that gold right before mm -hmm. plates went down? I mean, plates yep. went down the second after they got that. And man, they got the ultimate from Ghost Dragon here. And then, oh, nice the job hook. out of the support guy. He does get the kill in there on that. But still, nice, excellent. Oh, that wave circling back around. That wave is saying, hey, nowhere I'm for him to go. Here. Tower Diver oh, does man. go down in that wave. He does get him there. Nice job by the jungler. There's that burst damage from Silas coming in. Support guy and Ghost Dragon just going oh, to work on this take tower. Gonna take a tower hits for that. Hey, he uses his shield great there, Chuck. He pops that up, knows he's gonna take a hit. Doesn't matter. He's always there to try to soak up whatever damage he can for Ghost Dragon. He does an excellent job of that. He knows Ghost Dragon. He can trust him to go in every time. So. He's, he's not scared to jump in on any fight as long as he's got his ADC with him. Would you? No, would, would I'd you do it every be, single time. Yeah. No, I, I would do the same exact thing. If, if you're playing with the support that you feel like is going to win nine times out of ten uh, in a fight, I, I'm going in every single time. I, I, I'm going to say I dare you to come get me uh, because I know my guy's probably going to blow you up. I mean, yeah. that's just all there is to it. I mean, you know. That, Excellent pacing again by the jungler here from Fountain Lake, Chug. I, I'm really impressed with this jungler. He knows he has to keep farming right now. You're, you're in that spot where, okay, they got a couple of kills on us. It's kind of starting to tilt their way a little bit. I, I really want to go help my lanes out, but I can't stop farming. And he's doing an excellent job of that. Jax looks like he's going to pick up the red buff here, so he's going to go ahead and, and steal that from the Yellow Jackets. Nice job. But now, Gwen's pinging here. Hey, I don't know where Jax is at, so. Now, now Gwen sees it, but it may be too, too little, I too late. Not. There's plenty of minions there. I think Gwen can get gonna out of flash. this. Yes. Yep, get the hits. Ooh, that stun's going to hurt. Not going to get under tower fast enough. Nope. Man, Jax just dominating this top lane. He's 5-1 right now, Chuck. Yellow Jack's going to have to ro rotate some help up there is what's go what they're going to need to do. Uh, there's, I said Jax is just kind of having his way right now. Um, has a huge CES lead, 136 to 60. So they're going to have to get him under control, Chuck. Yeah, like I said, the onus really did fall on the um, on Night Waves, the jungle there, to make sure that they didn't try to exploit one of those other two lanes. Yeah. You know, I mean, that was something I called out from the first. But like I said, when you start getting um, Ghost Dragon able to roam, yeah, that's one thing. Start going. If silence. they don't have an answer to to the Ghost Dragon, and, and some teams have it, and some people team, teams and, don't have it. And you see right but, now, we've got our top, our bottom lane rotated top, saying, "You know what, Jax, we'll we'll come up here and play against you." Uh, Ghost Dragon is definitely comfortable doing that, just waiting on the minions to get there. So Fountain Lake going to try to rotate on this, but I don't think they're going to be, man, support guy again. Chuck, he no, is not just on the coming spot. up for the rest of the gang. They go ahead and get that, so now he doesn't build. That's exactly what we said he'd have to do. Excellent, excellent job by these Yellow Jackets. Realizing that Top was getting out of control. Tower Diver, diving Tower, on of top course. of it. Yep, <laughs> support guy gets back, Chuck, and then pops up the shield. Very, very nice awareness by support guy. Takes the hit for his team, uses his shield, and then 
walks back. Just exactly what he should have done. Now he can back here. I said support guys 103, but I do want to point out, well, we I haven't said it this much. Our mid laner is six and one, Chuck. He's having a field day on that Anivia. I oh, mean, it, man. that into that uh, that was into that Vigar. Yeah, that was beautiful. I, I think I it's genius, it, genius play there, Chuck. I'm more glad to see it now that I see that it's uh, paid off. Yeah, uh, I, I, that cage has done Vigar almost no good against Colonel Garfield because he's just able to hit him through it anyway. It doesn't matter that it's there. Uh, he's not melee, so it doesn't slow him up. Uh, Colonel Garfield used the wall, ice wall there to block off Vigar's retreat too, so it's just really been a pain for Vigar to deal with. And I'm going to say it, Chuck. It makes me happy to see Vigar not have a good day. Because <laughs> we've been deleted by so many Vigars that I, I just – He's ruined my day many times. Yeah. It's because my little Annie got caught in the little – yeah, it's, it's kind of like watching Set get beat up in the top lane. It's just, you just can't feel bad for him. You, you just never do because he usually has his way. And when he doesn't, it just makes you happy. <laughs> Yellow Jackets resetting here. I said they're still dominating objectives. They're dominating towers. This is starting to, starting to tilt starting their to, way. But it's not as one-sided as the last game was. No, they this, definitely answered. They definitely regrouped. That was smart on their part. Like I said, now that um, Yellow Jackets – or able to team fight, I, I think maybe things are going to start snowballing faster. I hope so. I make no guarantees, but. Fountain Lakes jungler still pacing, still farming. He has excellent, to. excellent. Great discipline. Play. Great discipline, yes. Great discipline. Jax does get that tower too, so uh, Yellow Waffles Jackets going to be aware of that. Give but. us the big. Big fist up here. Yep, and it looks like Yellow Jackets are going to be content to just say, you know what, we'll get that objective. You can have that top tower, that's fine. We want this Drake. Uh, especially with their jungler being in the jungle and out of position, he's in no position to help on this. Yellow Jackets, I like the stack here. Nice stack. Hey, if you want to come contest this, we're all going to jump on you. You won't even know we're here. But, man, Colonel Garfield being aggressive, saying, you know what, I'm going to shove you out anyway. <laughs> Jax is coming out. So we'll have oh, to team Jax, Jax has not no be idea that yeah, Jax, all that the Yellow was, Jackets uh, are there. Wow. A swarm of Yellow Jackets yeah. invaded that Cobra oh, nest, wow. ripped that Cobra apart, oh, and man. now it's feeding they're, it to their babies. They're on the support, and My Silas goodness. can't get away from him. Very, very nice play by these Yellow Jackets. Uh, they they that did was the perfect swarm. bait there. Yeah. yeah, they swarmed in on that. Diego's not going to get the kill. Chucky yeah. uses the stopwatch perfectly. It was that great. Way. Oh, wow. That is the most frustrating play in the game when you pop your Kapow. ultimate and know he should have went right, down. That's right, Songbird. Kapow. Yeah, and uh, so many times I've had the stopwatch and you forget to use it. Nightwaves did not forget. Perfect move. Baited, baited the enemy jumper We're going to get out. tower while we're getting Drake. Yeah, excellent, excellent team play by these Yellow Jackets go! here. Let's go. Let's go. And Fountain Lake did do a good job of trying to wrap around and and do something about that objective. I know they know that they wanted to get that objective. I just didn't know that the Yellow Jackets were stacked up on it. So, 1,000 IQ play by these Yellow Jackets. Wait, being patient, Chuck. It's hard to be patient like and that. And now we moved up, and now yeah. we're going to take the, yeah. Yeah, they should have a free Baron here. Now, Jax is going to come in to contest. Um, if he does, they should Ooh, be able to deal with him. Not that way he's going to try to get away. Yeah, that was. Yeah. But I don't think that. Now the stun that goes Jax, out. Yeah, Jax is not going to be able to do anything about that He gets the shutdown. Here. Chicken Lord picks up. A, and now Chicken Lord's on the killing spree after the. I, Chuck, this game, I mean, you know, a lot of it depends. Uh, when, on how you start out, you know, you might start out weak against an opponent. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it, love it. Love the emojis in the chat. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. So, yeah, Gwen scales so well. I mean, yeah. that's the reason why Chicken Lord loves to pick Gwen is because it's kind of a sleeper, a sleeper character until about, you know, level 14. Yeah, and that's one thing that they do really well is he recognized that he had to back off up there on the top and did it. But, like I said, there's times in this game where maybe level one through six, you're at a huge disadvantage. But when you hit a power spike at level 10, to level 12, whatever it is, all of a sudden you can turn around and go after that guy. And if you know that and know when you can, then you can dominate that matchup. Nightwave farming here. I said Fountain Lake knocking out Vision. Their, their jungler has 
excellent, excellent pacing. Yeah, He's still pacing excellent himself. discipline. Yeah, because it'd be easy to lose yourself in this match. You, I mean, it's tough, Chuck, when you're juggling because you want to go help your team. Your instinct is go help your team, but there's times when you have to say, you know what? I can't help you until I farm some more because I'm not ahead. If you're ahead, you can get do, away with that. Do not until you help yourself. Yeah. Right. Do not and help others until you can help yourself. Yeah, and it's hard to do in, in a team fight game like this. Man, the Yellow Jacket just swarming in here again. Chuck, Chicken Lord. Moki uh, trying his in, best. Uh, the support guy doing what the support guy does. Uh, looks, looks excellent here. Yellow Jacket's playing very, very well. If we look at this Anivia play, I, I'm gonna say this is like the pocket surprise play of this game, Chuggies. Seven, one, and four, going up against a Vigar and just saying, you know what, Vigar, not today, my friend. No, not today. Not today. Oh and five, buddy. I'm not putting up with your cage because I don't care about your cage. I, I love to play. I said, I've been uh, in many, many fights on the Rift where Vigar dominated. So frustrating, but this Anivia was a perfect pick into that Vigar. I want to say something here. Yeah, go Support ahead. Support guy is clearing up here. Night wave, night wave trying to trying to clear out some menu waves here, and we'll let Ghost Dragon have a word here since uh, he's got his fan club on the stream. So, <laughs> y'all, uh, okay, as you ask what the rundown of the game is, pretty much you see the blue nexus down there at the bottom left. Your goal is to kill that. That's pretty much it. You can take anything else on the map, but your main goal is to kill that nexus and take towers. Yeah, yeah, you got to break down their defenses. Yeah, so those three lanes basically are the routes to their nexus, and you got to you got to take down those defenses so that you can come in their base. And once you get to snowballing like um, Clinton is right here, you'll be able to push yourself in their base real quick. You can see now they're pushing in. The, first your first death today first was death was entering the base. Fair, fair I enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that that rundown didn't didn't fully encapsulate everything you need to know, Songbird. But I'm glad we was able to help a little bit. Yeah, sure enough, Ghost Ghost Dragon becomes godlike and then becomes not godlike real quick. <laughs> Eight and one. I'm gonna go look at my stats because I don't see us some everybody in the lobby by a margin. If you want, we can pull up my stats on PlayBS and look at them. Show the screen. <laughs> they're, they're looking in the chat. They're getting toxic to their own teammates. We destroyed their mental games definitely. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's a bad deal. <laughs> Yeah, excellent game by the Yellow Jackets. Here we're destroying the last bits of the defense. That leaves us Nexus or the last crystal open. Yeah, play BS pulled up. There we go. We've got the. How's my? Yeah, dude. Just take me a minute. Oh um, my lord, I'm so ready for this to see what this is. Uh, hopefully, that this puts me in number one position in both spots, so I can be the number one player in the state. Let's let's see here. Play versus. Yeah. I don't know, man. All I'm saying is that I am the best. It was over for you. <laughs> Yeah, that was fun. I wonder if they can see it. Not yet, but we'll find it and then we'll show it to them. Okay? Uh, go to. Hey, they're ready. They're ready to start. Standings. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, God. Wait, what? Uh, top. Yeah. You gotta put it on spring. And uh, regular season. Is that playoff? I'm number one and number five. Caleb Ward here, uh, five, six, seven gold. Caleb Ward, number five. And this is KDA, right? Yeah. So he's number five in KDA. He's got almost a 12, which is amazing. This 20, that's just, that's just stupid. 
they're, they're probably playing against the nobody schools. <laughs> that's just that's crazy. Twenty one and a half, but um, yeah, I've the been, Gold I've Farms five sixty seven. Number one all season in gold. Yeah, and you're, you're number one by a good margin. So, good job there. And oh, let's go. We're gonna try to switch over and and catch some of this Rocket League play. Um. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for coming up here. Yeah, Songbird, thanks for joining us. Hope you learned a little bit about the game. Learned a little bit of why he's so excited. Whoop. All right, so we're going to um, get ready. Dane Campbell, he's actually going to be playing. Um, Dane Campbell plays Night Waves, which is our jungle. He's going to be playing a little Rocket League here in a minute. And um, the rest of our Rocket League team here, as soon as they get back, they're going to grab a quick snack. And um, they've got um, some more games to play here with the Rocket League. Um, so... So always exciting here in the lab, but today's extra exciting because we have um, plenty, plenty of games to play. Yep. (laughs) 
looks like tomorrow I think we've got um, some unified Mario Kart action and yep. of course our Smash. We usually play Smash on on Wednesday, so that'll be coming up. Let's see if we can. Well, didn't mean to do that. Hey, we'll switch over and show a little Mario Kart here. While we're waiting for the Rocket League to start. Yep, Unified uh, Mario Kart tomorrow, and then Thursday, Mar Mario Kart and Rocket League play. Um, but Rocket League's going to be playing in the tournament here in a minute, so yeah, we'd like y'all to stick around for that, but you do not have to. Oh, I just Excellent game today with um, League of Legends. Everybody playing their position, knowing the rules. Knowing the roles. I'll be right back.
Hey, invite me when you... Oh, I see it. Well, what should we call you? Yeah. Yeah. Is it worth it? The other Cougar Hockey League playing. Oh, I missed it. Is that the Mets still in it? Nope. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, I remember this QC. Yep.
Okay, we're back up. Ready to go. Here is 4 0. Nice block there by Jay Byers. They're trying to push him around, but Jay Byers is like, no. Remco just entered the ring. Up the wall. Kusi pushing it. Remco taking it down. Up the wall, right into his tailgate. Byers contains control. Kusi going up the wall. Ariel by Kusi taking it to the net. Kusi scores yet again. 5 0. Rimco dropping it in from the top. Car wrecks in full force now. 5 1, three minutes to go. We'll see what they can do. Ooh, nice shot off the block there. Good job there by QC. As always, a strong competitor. Night waves taking it to the corner. QC pushing it back. Nice center. Jay Byers going for the shot, but Wall b blocks it. Well, blocks it. Cusey going to the air. Nice demolition by Well there. Byers coming up. Nice block. He came in from the side and went up the wall. Excellent job. His defense has really picked it up quite a bit this year. Um, like to see that uh, that constant improvement by by um, Byers. Night Waves pushing it to corner. Minute 43. Rimco off the wall. Putting it up. Jay Byers just barely misses that one. Figure out why I don't have audio here.
All right, we're going into game two here. Cutes are going high. Remco taking the shot wide to the right. Nice control there, Remco. Straight down the middle. Looks like it's going to go in. Go, Remco. Clinton Yellow Jackets able to take the early lead. Nice block by Remco, but Wall still gets it in. Mm, nice block there. Cusy doing his best to get it in. Remco keeping it out there. A lot of long range, high flying. Cusy, nice little double tap off the top post. Beautiful job there by Cusy. Oh, well, taking it down. Byers getting it back. Nice control there. Night waves off the wall. A little bit chaotic here on the pitch. Seems like a lot of. A lot of high flying action, a lot of independent. Communication doesn't seem to be there. Um, two on three. And it looks like at this point, advantage is going towards the the two. Remco does get it in, though. Two, two. Nice dribble. Nice form there. QC almost gets the block. Remco does just enough off speed to keep it under control. Have a good one. Woo! Nimco keeping it in their corner. QC going high up the wall. Byers trying to get his car back in the forward position. Well goes up for the shot. Rimco blocks. Nice one by Rimco. Right through two defenders. Q 
QC scores there off the hood of Jay Byers. Wow. <laughs> Jay Byers. Yeah, no kid. Jay Byers gets the easy shot. Ripko comes right underneath him. I don't know what that was about. But <laughs> like a bulldozer there, man. Hmm. Jay Byers going in for it again. Nice job by Byers there. Bank. Bank. <laughs> Excellent job there by Devin. Okay, I can breathe a little bit now, Chuck. A little bit. A little better now? Yeah. This is not our normal school play. This is actually in a, a state tournament here. So Van Buren is down a player. Uh, they had a player that, that plays soccer as well, I believe, is what Coach West said. Um, talked to him earlier. Thanks to him for reaching out to me. So I had a little confusion here in the lab. So I'm glad to have uh, the team all on the pitch here, as Chuck would say. Uh, See what these Yellow Jackets can do uh, in a 3v2 situation. We've played this team before, Chuck. Mm -hmm. Chuck remembered the names. Uh, I do, too. I remember QC for sure. They're, they're very good, solid team. They're uh, top state contenders. So it's nice to play against them, even if it is 2v3, just because we know what kind of high-level play they bring. Oh, absolutely. Look, look at well there, just bringing it through there. If yeah. we didn't have the bodies underneath that net, he would have made it. Yeah, he, he just had he was there for the way. block. Yeah. Cousy was there, too. Um, we do end up taking that match. So, it's 1-1. One, one. Um, no celebration, you notice. <laughs> They're not, not much we're going to celebrate there. <laughs> Why do you think they left? Okay, it does look like the other team did have to leave. So, we did get a nice little look there. Um, just exactly what QC can do. That that Rocket League player, um, absolutely great, great player. He has great ball control, great positional awareness. Um, but, unfortunately for them, they, they had other things to do. Uh, we, we, we joined this Arkansas State Tournament here to hope to get our kids some, some game time, some pitch time, uh, play against some of these better players. and But unfortunately today we only got um, one good game in. But um, like Curtis said, thanks to the coaches. Thanks for everybody for letting us play. And um, we'll be signing off. Thanks for joining us today.